So in this video we're going to do a Man Whitney U test using SPSS. We're going to be looking you're going through the instructions in section 7.4.4 of the textbook and we're actually going to also be using the, the example data from that chapter 7 on bone density males versus compared to females. Here's a copy of that data file open. You can either make this data file yourself and there's a separate video and helps you on that and also an appendix in the book on entering data or you can download the pre-prepared version of the data file from the uh, internet from the online resource centre. Let's just take a moment to look at this data file. We've got our dependent variable, the bone density here and the independent variable, sex, here. Sex is measured as male or female. Here we've got the cut number codes that were entered into SPSS. And uh, if we want to view the value labels given to those, we can switch to view and then value labels on, and we can see female and male. If we go to variable view, we can go to the value labels box, and we can see again a reminder that one is the, it was given the label female and two for male. Also to note in this variable view, you've got the role assigned. We've got none here for either of those, and that's uh, that's actually not how it is in the downloaded version from the internet. That's how I want to use it in this example on the video. If you download it from the online resource center, resource center, you'll see that um, the bone density is labelled as target because it's a dependent variable, and sex is labelled as input because of the um, uh, because it's the independent variable. Uh, I just want to not uh, let, let, let's just leave it at none for this example, and I'll come back to that why I've done that later. Okay, let's crack on with the test. We go to analyze non-parametric independent samples. You'll have three tabs come up in front of you. And it'll come up like this. The default is the uh, is automatic compare. I want you to choose customize analysis. Then for fields, now this is where, uh, as we've defined the ro not defined the roles of these variables. In this case, uh, they both they both appear over here. So we'll send uh, the dependent variable over to the test fields and the sex over to the groups. Uh, if you define the roles, it, this would actually be done automatically for you at this point. Going to settings, let's make sure the man Whitney U. We want customized man Whitney U selected and the Hodges Lehman estimate to look at effect size and its confidence intervals. We're now ready to run the test and we'll look at our uh, uh, output window. This is what you get immediately. Double click on that to get on the summary to get more detail. Uh, this has got everything you need to know. Uh, this has got the statistic here and the p-value here and the sample sizes up here. And uh, the um, confident, if you want to see the effect size, switch here in the view to confidence intervals and you get an estimate of your effect size difference here and uh, the confidence intervals on that effect size. So that's how to get everything you uh, need to report or should report for a man with the U test. And that's it.